South Korean nuclear regulators have shut down two reactors after determining some parts had fake safety certificates. They suspended two other reactors last year because of the same issue. After the investigation, we confirmed that there were fake documents related to the nuclear power plant. Officials with the Nuclear Safety and Security Commission say cables in four reactors located at two separate plants were not tested properly. They say the safety certificates were forged. The commission ordered the shutdown of two of the reactors. The two other units weren't in operation. The commission is calling for all cables to be replaced. South Koreans were outraged last year by revelations that parts with fake documents were being used in reactors. They called for regulators to do a better job at managing risks. The latest shutdown order means 10 out of 23 reactors are offline, raising fears of power shortages during the peak summer months. The Fukushima accident is still a source of grave concern for Japan's neighbors. Thousands of people in Taiwan have rallied to stop the construction of a nuclear plant near the capital, Taipei. About 3,000 protesters took to the streets of central Taipei on Sunday. They shouted that they don't need nuclear plants. I wasn't interested in politics before, but I joined the rally because I want a safer world for my children. The government wants to build Taiwan's fourth nuclear plant in Xinbei City, but residents opposed to the project have increased since the Fukushima meltdowns. President Ma ying administration fears a negative impact on the economy if the plant is scrapped. The government says it will hold a referendum on nuclear power by the end of this year. The latest polls suggest that 70 percent of those surveyed oppose the construction of nuclear plants. The head of the agency that operates a Monju fast breather reactor has resigned. Officials at the Nuclear Authority said his organization had failed to carry out safety checks. Science and Technology Minister Hakobun Shimomura announced that Atsuyuki Suzuki will step down as president of the Japan Atomic Energy Agency, or JAEA. Shimomura said the operator's lax oversight was a breach of public trust. Suzuki became president of JAEA in August 2010. He was a member of the Nuclear Safety Commission from 2001 to 2010 and became its chief in 2006. Government inspectors found JAEA failed to conduct more than 9,800 equipment inspections at the Munju reactor in central Japan last year. Shimomura said the ministry will select a successor. He pledged to work to regain public confidence. Now, Japanese leaders envisioned a future where they could sustain the country's energy needs with recycled fuel. They built Mongju as a dream reactor that would generate more fuel than it consumed. Engineers started developing this type of reactor with the birth of Japan's nuclear program in the 1960s. Government leaders hoped to put the facility online by the early 1990s, but things didn't go according to plan. They pushed the deadline back each time they reviewed their nuclear policy. Finally, in 1994, the operator fired up the reactor. The following year, a sodium leak brought operations to a halt, and workers there continued to face problems. The operator put the facility back online in 2010, but during a test run, a fuel exchanger fell into the reactor vessel, and again the plant went offline. The people at Japan Atomic Energy Agency want to restart before next April. But regulators say the operator is unable to ensure the safety of the reactor. They've ordered workers to stop preparations to restart it. The government has spent more than $18 billion on the facility, but government officials believe Monju won't be able to resume full-scale operations until around 2050. Nuclear authorities are dealing with safety problems at another offline plant. The Monju fast breeder reactor is just three kilometers down the road from Tsuruga. Officials say the operator has failed to carry out safety checks. As a result, they are demanding that plants to, plans to restart the reactor be put on hold. 
Government officials inspected the Monju reactor last year. They found more than 9,800 missed checkups on equipment. The plant operator, Japan Atomic Energy Agency, later filed a report promising to improve safety procedures. But officials say the operator has yet to improve the situation. Meeting on Wednesday, the nuclear watchdog issued a harsh reprimand. The real problem is that organizations like the Atomic Energy Agency still exist and are allowed to exist. NRA officials told the operator not to prepare for restarting the reactor until they can confirm the situation has improved. The officials say they will allow the Monju operator to respond before formally issuing the order. This, was likely, this will likely delay the reactor's restart until the end of next March. Experts with Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority have confirmed the ground beneath the power plant is unstable. They say a reactor on the Sea of Japan coast sits on an active fault, and they say it's at risk should an earthquake strike. NHK World's Chiaki Shikawa reports. The experts have been examining the ground beneath the number two reactor. The on-site inspections began in November. The experts knew beforehand that a fault existed below the facility. Their job was to determine whether it was active. They decided in their initial report that it was possibly active. But their survey came up with an unexpected finding. They found another fault running nearby. We can confirm that the newly found fault could be active. The plant operator criticized the experts' findings, even before the release of the final report on Wednesday. Japan Atomic Power Company has presented data and photos disputing that the fault is active. The fault running beneath the reactor is not active. We want to emphasize that our assessment is right. But the panel rejected the claim. It said the operator's evidence is unconvincing. Local authorities also dispute the decision. They are demanding more discussions and inspections. The nuclear authorities' experts have not held enough objective and scientific discussions. I am afraid that will cause major confusion and affect the residents. The government's guidelines ban plant operators from building reactors directly above active forts. That means if the panel's argument is upheld, the number two reactor could be shut down for good. The plant is currently offline. The operator says it will conclude its own survey into the fault by June. Panel members say they may review the report if the operator comes up with new findings. The Tsuruga plant is not the only facility facing an uncertain future. The panel is investigating suspected active faults at six nuclear power stations. Officials at the Nuclear Regulation Authority say they will decide their next move on the Tsuruga reactor as early as next week. Chiaki Ishikawa, NHK World.